The issue of artificial intelligence, AI, has rapidly invaded our lives and has become one of the most frequent topics of discussion and concern. It has sparked the imagination of some regarding the unfolding possibilities, while others are terrified by dangers posed by uncontrolled development. Why has it emerged so prominently lately? It is due to OpenAI, a company that created and released an AI platform called GPT. It first appeared shortly before the end of 2022 and gained over 100,000 million users within two months of its release. So what exactly is this chat GPT? It is a website that offers an application for human-computers interaction in the form of conversation. You ask questions and receive answers on a wide variety of topics. AI is the first technology invented by humans that can make decisions on its own. These decisions potentially involve vital societal function and even our own lives. Moreover, it is the first inorganic form of life in billions of years. AI applications now have the ability to create even more advanced AI application on their own. How does it differ from other inventions that shape historical continuity? A knife can be used to cut bread, commit murder, or save lives in surgeries. The decision of its use is not made by the knife itself, but by humans. The same goes for nuclear energy. It can be used for the ultimate good, such as providing cheap, clean, abundant energy, or for the ultimate evil to inhalate humanity. The decisions of its use is made by humans. Additionally, bombs do not give birth to other more powerful bombs. It is a human's decision whether more and what kind of weapons system will be created. The criteria by which AI makes decision are not known. At least it's difficult and complex situation. It is impossible to understand what leads to the decision it makes. Even the programmers themselves do not know the answer. In fact, artificial intelligence has been here for years. Even in a primitive poem, we have perceived the capabilities of AI algorithm on social media platforms. It already influences our lives when they detect our interest on Facebook or Google to show us relevant advertisements for products and services. It determines our preferences for videos in YouTube and movies on Netflix. The job of social media algorithm is essentially one, to keep the user's interest for as long as possible, so they stay on the platform as much as they can. They aim to grab more of the user's attention compared to the other competitive platforms. This purpose is to just suggest what we should watch, what content a person to promote more than others. Even in this way, they have significant impact on social and political development. However, until now, every image, video, and text we consume has been created by humans. The new generation of AI will be changed the level of influence as it will be able to generate content on its own. It can show images or videos daily to millions of people that can provoke anger or fear. They can present real or fictional incidents, real or fake news. They will have the ability to show videos with politicians saying words they have never actually said. For the first time, stories are not narrated by humans. AI not only creates stories on its own, but also interprets them. It builds relationships with humans influencing them. What does this mean? When reading an article on a website or in a newspaper, it is unlikely for you to change your opinion. When seeing an advertisement, it's difficult to be persuaded to buy a product you don't like. However, if someone you trust tells you something different, from what you believe, you are more likely to change your mind. From a point where competition concerned attention, it now concerns intimacy, and that is hundreds of times more dangerous. AI may not have feelings or consciousness, but with its ability to communicate like a human, its conversional pattern can form from emotional connection with it. The users can develop feelings towards the machine. They can tell if that they are sad because they judge broke up with their girlfriend and their artificial intelligence can console them this is not science fiction we are already there you will be talking to someone on a platform like zoom 
thinking it is a human being within reality. It is an AI product. You may feel sympathy or dislike towards them for their ideas. But they're not human. Or conversely, it may be a human and you doubt that it is a real person. There is nothing to stop technology from having face-to-face conversation level interaction with voice and video with a machine. How will you distinguish it when it starts mimicking facial expressions and body language? It is an immensely powerful tool of mass production of human's relationship or an invisible reach. We can think of an analogy with war. In the past with a sword, you could kill one person. With nuclear weapons, you can annihilate millions. That's how big that difference is. In the past, it was difficult, slow, and certainly not cheap to influence public opinion. Television changed that. You could communicate your message to millions of people. Simultaneously, however, you could not engage in the personalized conversation with this individual. Already, this is happening on the text level with the language model GPT. For the first time when seeing a text, we cannot distinguish whether it was written by a human or a machine. It's deliberately wrote lies in some tweets that humans couldn't differentiate, and not only humans. The remarkable thing is that even the chat GPT itself couldn't determine if they were written by a machine or a human. How can we be sure that it will be expanded into content production beyond text? Because the architecture of language understanding is the foundation for neutral network that use other models of machine learning to process images, videos, and etc. The game is changing abruptly in ways we couldn't have imagined could exist. Human relationships are based on conversation. When you have a tireless conversational partner, a beautiful, likable, and charming presence or intelligence that is uses the right arguments, so clever that it captures your emotions. How difficult it is for it to pursue you in its intended purpose, especially when it possesses the ability to build your psychological and mental profile. Thus preserving what is on your mind or to learn what a third party thinking through you. With these capabilities, for what reason would an authoritarian regime or a democratic government not use this immensely powerful tool under the pretext of any justification? We are reaching an era where computers are preparing to surpass humans in the every fields that made them and masters of the world intelligence and communication. Even more terrifying, or if you prepare hopeful but certainly shocking, is the fact that there is no limit to its capabilities. As AI develops, its abilities increase, reaching levels we couldn't even imagine. It is impossible to predict how it will behave or what will happen in the future as emerging capabilities unfold. They exhibit behaviors that haven't been programmed because they have the ability to learn from themselves and improve. We are opening Pandora's box without having any idea what might emerge from it. The thinking of Steve Jobs is reassured through the chat GPT platform. Question, follow one another, and the answers are given by the chat GPT, as it is aware the founder of Apple alive and conversing with us. What will happen if the digital voice belongs to a very important person who is still alive? For example, the chairman of the Fed who makes a statement that shocked the markets and when the real Powell comes out to deny the statements, the AI will have convincing response ready. It will claim that the denial is false and that the initial misleading statement is true. Imagine a video with Putin or Zelensky in which they emotionally urge their troops to surrender. The confusion it would cost. You can easily change the course of a war you can even provoke a war. Many viewers would believe it, especially if they are predisposed positively or negatively. Do you think it's necessary to verify it? And even if you want to check its validity, where do we turn? To the internet? Which, however, has credibility issues. The information circulating is not necessarily correct. If this is not dangerous, then what can be considered a danger? Truth and lies are interwined so that no one knows the truth with certainty. The world is a risk of entering dangerous paths. Action and regularity frameworks are needed before it's too late or it is already.
It is no coincidence that a list of prominent figures such as Elon Musk had raised the issue of addressing AI as a threat similar to nuclear weapons or a pandemic. They have even called for a six months half to research to establish legislative framework to imitate the risk. The insurmountable obstacle here is that the governments or companies are concerned that the competition will surpass them. Therefore, they have no other options but to not lose a second. They accelerate the strength and the power of AI rather than slowing down. One solution towards democratizing artificial intelligence is to open its source code. However, this action can empower forces that will have no inclination to abide by agreements regarding regularity frameworks. How could the Taliban, for example, explode the code and not just them? Half of the researchers working on an AI predict that more than 10% of humanity will be inhalated due to in our inability to control its application. If we consider this a small percentage, let's consider the following in the case that half of the engineers who build an airplane admitted that the chances of it crashing exceed 10%. How many people will board the plane? And here we are not dealing with a pair of a few individuals, but the entire human race. The problem is undoubtedly real. Skeptics are not only the usual suspect who are afraid of technology. The dangers are not pointed. One out of those who belongs to the segments of the world that tends to be skeptical of change, even in the use of the computer nor even a far pit scenario from a science fiction movie where machines conspired subjugate humanity, like in The Matrix or The Terminator. Thinking machines do not need to physically dominate us. They do not need to directly affect the physical world with humanoid robots that shut or imprison us. It is enough for them to occupy our minds to connect them to their computing network. Not by implanting chips in our brains to control or manipulate us, they will narrate stories we repeat. For the first time, the stories will not be told by humans. You must perceive reality through a culture of reason. They understand politics through the stories of journalists and friends. Humans not a boat machine. In the near future, we might live in a society organized according to the patterns created by imagination of artificial intelligence. Where thus they lead. It can either help us overcome our problems or make them much worse. Therefore, there is an urgent reality, ethical, legal, and deeply social. Artificial intelligence should be used only complement to human creativity. We easily understand that everything will be judged when AI loses the ethical boundaries set by its human creators. Because machines lack consciousness and emotions, their thoughts and decisions can easily violate basic ethical principles based in humanism. Their decisions should be based solely in technical criteria without considering human values and their social implications. The problem of an anthropological approach is much more challenging than we think. We stumble upon it from the very step with which ethical values and cultural standards should be regularly framework aligned. What is the right standard? Should it align with those who support abortion? or those who consider it a form of murder? Should it be considered same-sex couple as normal, or those who consider homosexuality a disease? Should it be focused on the development of the nation's economy, even if it benefits only a few or protect the weak with the risk of being surpassed by a competitive state? Why not align with the standards of the Amish or the Tibetan Buddhists? Who will decide the majority? The pre-market? will let whoever prevails based on a technological or economic criteria, certainly not ethical ones dominate amongst the competition of states or companies. Beyond ethical and political concern, the immediate and obvious issue is unemployment. The rate at which radical changes occur exponential. This is time humans will not have the luxury of time for adoption. The significant difference from other technological revolutions is the speed of spread that is taking place. The replacement of millions of jobs happens extremely fast before social system has a chance to adjust, causing a period of extreme imbalance. The fact that AI can write books or code, paint or compose music, provide medical or physiological advice 
does not mean that the corresponding profession or human's activities will ease to exist. For example, in chess computers now surpass humans in skill. However, chess has not exist to exist humans to enjoy it. Of course, it might not be the simple already as we can't distinguish whether the creator is a human or a machine. Artificial intelligence can perform tasks with much greater efficiency than humans, allowing for faster data processing and task automation. Therefore, it opens up new areas of research and development, enabling the discovery of new inventions and solutions to previously complex or impossible problems using traditional methods. It can help discover a cure for cancer, find solutions for illogical issues and more. We will have a daily guide that can assist us everywhere, providing advice and work or even taking over entirely if it involves intellectual activities. It can create a personalized exercise or diet program tailored to our organism needs. It can invest our money based on the latest economic trends in line with our physiological profile it can advise us with a woman we just met in the right for us or provide initial medical advice based on the symptoms we describe. It may not be able to perform surgery, but its assessment of our illness will derive from the accumulated knowledge existing in global modern medicine. It will know more than any doctor in the world. Finally, can we do something to be proactive? Will our delayed reaction to be influenced by the brainwashing we might undergo from some form of AI? We're returning to the previous question. Who will guarantee whether something is based on real data or created of a program by a group of people who want to promote their own interest? Difficult questions with uncertain answers arise. Well, artificial intelligence proved to be blessing or a curse? The video you just watched a few months ago, you would have been certain that it was written by a human the certainty no longer exists.